First on Five, a high school art project in Baldwin County meant to inspire, instead, sparking controversy. The painting in question, a portrait of President Donald Trump. News 5's Debbie Williams spoke with the Gulf Shores teacher who created it. Everything about Austin Boyd's classroom screams art. But I love it. I think it's great. For the last nine years, this has been his passion. Derek's success is just great. That inspires me to even come back every day and enjoy my work. That work has been tested lately, specifically his portrait of President Donald Trump draped in an American flag. This has nothing to do with politics or beliefs or anything. It was just an art project, and we were just trying to get a response from so many celebrities, or you know, and we've gotten a few so far. Including a letter from the president himself. Two weeks ago, I got this, and that's, that's where all the hoopla started. But what was a point of pride for the school system? Well, all that quickly changed once the pictures were posted to social media. Hey man, they're dog cussing you and your painting. I was like, who? Is it people all over the country? The school system's Facebook page bombarded with negative comments that were quickly deleted. And a lot of them were like, how can the county, how can this school in the county allow a teacher to paint the President Trump who's a bigot and a racist and all this stuff? And I'm like, oh my gosh, really? At first, he says he was shocked, then angry, but now... It's crazy. It's, it's great. It's crazy. It's ludicrous. It's, it's everything. It's just like art, you know, so, and that's the beauty of it. It also provided a teachable moment for his students. Much better, man. How to handle criticism. On the Baldwin County Beating Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, News 5. And this isn't the first portrait like this Boyd has done. Some of his other subjects have included President Barack Obama, Ellen DeGeneres, and Kid Rock.